In this video, we would like to show you how to perform regular everyday front office operations with Electro Web System, starting from creating reservation, posting expenses, collecting payments, and night audit. There are three different screens from where users can create reservation in Electro Web. The first one is the room rack screen, from where we see the room cleaner status as well. Plus button in the lower part of the room box implies that the room is available and that reservation can be created. All we need to do is to press the plus button and fill in basic information. Second screen is the blockage or calendar screen. Room types and numbers we created on the setup menu, together with the room status, are shown in the left part of the screen. In order to create the reservation, all we have to do is click on the reservation check-in date, drag the mouse over the desired checkout date, and drop it. Automatically, a small reservation screen is displayed. We can enter basic guest information such as name, phone number, agency, board type, and manually enter the price. After pressing the Save button, the reservation box is created. If we want to change this reservation date or room number, we can easily drag this box to the desired field. From this screen, we can easily perform basic front office operations. When a guest arrives at the hotel, with the right mouse click, we open the dropping menu and select Check In. Guest expenses for the services of different departments are recorded with posting button. The selected department, revenue and service or product price will be automatically saved. With the payment function, the screen for the payment collection will be opened. Automatically, the amount recorded in the reservation folio will be displayed. Selected amount and payment method are recorded in the reservation form. We can see these posting and payments on the folio segment inside the reservation form. Finally, with create invoice function and in couple of simple steps, we are finalizing the invoicing. When the checkout date comes, again with the right mouse click, simply select checkout function from dropping menu. Third option for creating reservation is to use the reservation list on the reservation part. By pressing the add button, new blank reservation card will be opened. First, we should choose the agency, company, or individual who is making the reservation. After defining the desired check-in and check-out date, we should also select the board type, nationality, and number of guests. All fields in the reservation card that are marked with star are mandatory. If users know which room to assign for this reservation, they can enter it here. However, this is not obligatory field for creating reservation. On the right part of the reservation card, first we should enter guest information. Here, entering guest name and surname will be enough. In case we wish to create guest profile, we should enter either phone, email or ID information. After saving these entries, guest profile will be automatically created. One of the most important steps when creating reservation is the pricing. There are three different methods to do the pricing in Electro Web. For the purpose of the current video, we will use manual pricing method. For the reservation we created, check-in can be done in three ways. First, we can use right mouse click over the selected reservation record and select check-in from the list. Next, we can select this function from action menu or click on the symbol extracted in the upper toolbar list. After completing the check-in, this reservation is moved to the in-house list. For the selected reservation, we can select posting, payment or create invoice functions from the action menu. Another way to perform these operations is to open the reservation card and use folio segment. Folio is the part of the reservation card where all the expenses and payments made by the related guests are recorded. The daily accommodation prices will be processed to folio after night audit. Thus, it cannot be currently displayed. However, for expenses other than accommodation, we can use the posting button. With payment button, money collected for the related expenses will be entered. Finally, invoice can also be created as previously shown. 
On the last day of guest stay in the hotel property, we can perform room checkout again in three different ways. With the right mouse click from action menu or direct checkout symbol in the upper toolbar. Upon completion of the checkout, this reservation will be moved to departures list. Finally, one of the basic front office operations is night audit and creating the reports at the end of the day. For this, we will use end of day part on the night audit menu. Before starting end of day, there are five warnings that system takes into consideration. For example, stop if the room price is zero. This means that in case we haven't done the pricing properly, warning message will be displayed and we will not be able to proceed with the end of the day until this problem is solved. If desired, we can also deactivate this option and system will conduct end of day checks without taking into consideration the related warning. After pressing end of day operation button, system automatically controls all of the following segments and creates the reports. Night audit is finalized by pressing the end of day button. Page will be automatically refreshed and the program and calendar date will be the same. After completing with this operation, new day for our hotel property officially starts.